Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. We're looking at the week of April the 12th to the 18th, 2021. Now, the week starts with a new moon on the 12th that sort of is new at 3.31 in the, in the morning. And new moons stand for new beginnings. They also can be seen as a boost in energy. In short, this is sort of how this works. All planets in our solar system run along um, a path on the Milky Way, which is called the ecliptic. And they all start at different degrees, but always 30 degrees along. And um, when the moon and the sun are on the same longitude, that's when we have a new moon. So you have the energy, therefore, of the ruler of the day, the sun, and the ruler of the night, the moon. And so therefore, if you are planning to manifest, <clears throat> That's going to be awesome because the week basically starts with that high energy, no matter what the overall energy says or what the guides have to say about your star sign. This is first and foremost a week for you to remember you can manifest. Now, the moon itself is the ruling planet or the governing planet of Cancer. So, Cancerians this week can feel and will have the aid of their ruling planet wisdom all week, right? So whatever they have to say later on for Cancerians, um, that will be even stronger than what they mentioned for the other star signs energetically, right? So with that said, now have a look at the overall energy for the week to come, looking at the week of April the 12th to the 18th, 2021. And we have the dolphin and the eagle. In short, remember, this is a week to manifest. The dolphin is an animal that is very intelligent. It's also very graceful. And sometimes people don't know how to read them. Um, because obviously they always look happy, even if they're not. So there can be, um, so the analogy here is for you to realize that, you know, be graceful, you know, don't give in to arguing, don't give in to um, letting or allowing others to lower your energy this week. Really, really important. Al allow yourself to know and, and remember you know, that you are graceful and that you are valuable and that your very being is important to be here, right? So that's important. And then you have the eagle, which means you, um, or we, all of us, we will see opportunities coming our way without having to chase them. So with regards to manifesting, because obviously the new moon helps with that, <clears throat> it would be advisable and wise not to chase something just because it hasn't happened yet. If it, is if it is supposed to happen, it will happen. And the eagle obviously tells us that we can see what's going to happen for us. Opportunities will come our way. So with regards to manifesting, it makes more sense to look at long-term plans and things that can make your life much better rather than looking at something very specific. Okay, so that was the overall energy for the week ahead. Remember, it's going to be quite um, a powerful uh, energy all week, which is really, really awesome. Now we're going into the very first star sign of the week. We're still in Aries until the 21st, if I'm not mistaken. So we're still in Aries. So let's have a look and what we got for the star sign of Aries. 
here we go for Aries the main energy for you this week is to give rather than take in other words this is not a week for having endings for having conversations that that might lead to finishing stuff this is more a week of you giving your kindness and giving to others rather than asking for things right really really important um so in other words um i, I believe we had that uh, earlier here with the over energy where uh, about arguments and things um so that's another thing that just again we have a lot of overlapping energy a lot so here is it it is again um so the message is for aries um don't look for arguments don't look for a clarification even because you will be fine but this is a week for aries to give rather than take therefore be patient with uh, your fellow humans <laughs> uh, be patient with situations that you're in and um have a giving nature this week right short and sweet for aries going into taurus let's have a look what we got for taurians taurians you have the links l y n x there are certain words i just can't pronounce and i probably never will be able to <laughs> the links is basically the animal that says to to uh taurians all you really need to do this week is to remember the overall energy allows us all to manifest and look into what it is we would like to achieve and what we would like to get help with and in your case Torians what they're asking you to do is to elevate yourself elevate your thinking have a vantage point from which to reflect on your situation or your situations you're in and um just assess before you act if that makes sense right that's short and sweet for torians let's have a look what we got for gemini okay for for gemini it's quite interesting for you to realize this very week is that while the universe is not asking you <laughs> to tell everybody to f off and do your own thing you need to realize that nothing is ever really written in stone and if there's anything coming your way this week gemini that you feel doesn't sit right with you right if you feel like that just doesn't sit well with me and that's something you mustn't do really really important for for gemini's to honor your intuition if you feel that's just not me that just doesn't sit well with me just doesn't feel like i should be involved in this don't be involved okay short and sweet for gemini <laughs> i'm quite surprised because normally my guides give me loads and um <clears throat> thus far i have only been given um very short phrases mostly only one card kind of thing you know it is what it is i'm not complaining all i'm saying is <clears throat> it surprises me a little because normally i talk for england and germany combined and somehow this is all shorter <laughs> right so anyway that was gemini going into cancerians remember cancerians we already talked about this that this is a massively strong week for you this is the week for you to kick ass this is the week for you to go like yeah, and i will go for it and the message that you have is really that your hard work is paying off so whatever it is you're looking at whatever it is you're planning whatever it is you're manifesting is working will work the trick is for cancerians to not be overly pushy because 
all that said doesn't mean that that everything will happen all at once or that it will all happen this week all they're saying is you know you have been hurt we can hear you we hear you right and and um, whatever it is you're looking for whatever it is you manifest is already in the process of happening and that's all they're saying to you is your hard work of manifesting your hard work of focusing on what it is you want is being answered as we speak right so please don't be impatient um, and also I'm getting the feeling about cancerians this week being a bit impulsive it doesn't serve you well and it certainly won't help with communication right so there's a bit of frustration here um, with cancerians which makes you a bit pushy um, which is understandable but it is not something that will aid you very well just trust that whatever it is you're manifesting or asked for is on its way okay that was cancerians short and sweet and now we're going to the next star sign which is leo let's have a look what we got leos you have the domestic cat all they're saying to you is again we have overlapping energy here be who you are do what you feel is right and literally walk away from stuff that somehow doesn't feel it's for you right really really important to remember that sometimes situational you could be in situations and scenarios that are sort of um pushed on you and so if you are um a leo that um has a has a list of what to do within the week look at it before you engage right is this really what i want to do so this is, seems to be a week since we have the new moon and new beginnings and you know um new manifestations this is a week for leos <coughs> to kind of go i have to reflect on how much i like what i'm doing and then decide what i'm going to do with it right that was leo <coughs> excuse me <coughs> going into virgo we're looking at the week of april the 12th to the 18th 2021 and for virgos what the guides are saying to you is you have gone through maybe a tough cycle a tough situation and the end of despair if there is despair or there is low energy or there is heartache for another better word the end of this cycle of what the heck is this <laughs> Um, is approaching right so therefore this week with the new moon and, and, and manifesting rather than rather than being affected by the energy you are currently in so to speak um, or the remnants of the energy that you had to go through and the topics that you had to go through manifest a new manifest higher but that starts with you realizing that you deserve to be treated well and that you deserve the highest good and that you can ask to be honored for being who you are right so this is um, a self-esteem thing here for uh, for for virgos more or less where they're saying to you is you know if you feel like you know i don't deserve this good stuff you know then it won't come to you right so that was that for for virgo oh my cat is here hey sweetie that was virgo going into libra let's have a look what we got for libra librans <laughs> okay you're right oh. 
Um, yeah, where are we? Librans. We're looking at the week of April the 12th to the 18th, 2021. And all the guides want from you this week is to show the world the real you. No acting, no going along with stuff. Again, that seems to be a big topic this week. Um, you know, to, to really reflect on what's happening and what it is you want to do. And that's the thing for you, um, Libras, this week, is to, um, yeah, well, show the world who, who you truly are. And what I'm getting is that, that somehow you're trying to keep the peace. You're trying to not have situations get worse. <laughs> and sometimes keeping the peace can be really, really tiring. And so what they're saying to you is, you know, be who you are, warts and all, if that makes sense. And if you feel, again, we had that so many times in this reading here, if you feel things aren't really quite for you, then acknowledge them and speak your mind, but show the world the real you. What I'm also getting for Libras is to um, show the world your true spiritual side, right? Show what really floats your boat, show your, your, your um, more sensible side as well, and don't be ashamed of being so deep, okay? So that was that for, for Libra. Now going into Scorpio. Let's have a look what we got for Scorpio. There's always one star sign that has a bit of a harder time <laughs> in any given week. This week it happens to be Scorpio. Because what they're saying to you, this is the week of manifesting properly, right? With the new moon beginning on Monday, which sort of, you know, um, will be there for a couple of days, the energy. What they're asking you to understand, Scorpios, is that your, your commitment, you committing to scenarios and you saying, yeah, I'm in, <laughs> is being tested. This is going to be a week for Scorpios where you might have to reflect on situations. You may have to look at, um, is this really what I want? Do I really want to go along with this? And also, when you say, I'm going to do this, do you really feel it 150%? Because your commitment this week is being tested. People will call you on your, hmm, wrong word, for your slacking, for your not not really paying attention, you're, I'm, I'm not, you're not with it, what's going on, right? Be honest at all times. And if, again, we had that so many times here, if there's anything in your life that doesn't work for you, while, again, this is, this is uh, the week of manifestation, so this is not a, a good week for ending stuff. This is more a week of um, reflecting, if that makes sense. But for Scorpios, again, it's important because people will notice when you're not really in it. Um, be truthful. Tell the world how you feel. Right? And that's all we got for Scorpio. And now we're going into the star sign of Sagittarius. Let's have a look at Sagittarians. Good energy, high energy for Sagittarians. What the guides are saying to you is that you have probably suffered is the wrong word. But it's, it's still the word that I'm getting. <laughs> you probably have gone through quite a bit of upset. Um, and I'm not getting the word lately. I'm just getting the, the, the symbol overall. So your energy may not have been as high as you would have wished it could be or would be. And all the guides are saying is, Prosperity is coming your way. Now, that does not mean um, live long and prosper. That does not mean necessarily that this is about um, financial wealth. And, and um, you know, even though they're not saying it isn't, 
But what I'm getting is that prosperity is, is really not a term that only relates to wealth and to financial help. Prosperity means being content with what you got and knowing that more of the good stuff is coming for you. Right? And that's really what's happening for Sagittarians this week. So this is going to be a week for you where you, where you really, again, you know, um, put your manifesting hat on. Right? It's really, really important. Okay, so that was Sagittarius. Now we're going into Capricorn. Capricorns, you have the Peregrine Falcon and the Jaguar. What they're saying to you is, don't sweat the small stuff. Don't look into things that aren't quite 100%, right? Don't, don't do that <laughs> to yourself, if that makes sense, right? Um, I'm trying to explain this here. You can see what's coming your way. You can see what's happening. And yet, somehow, you sort of, at times, look at the things that are not working and then stay with that energy for a long time. Oh, that's shit. That doesn't work. And this is not great. Right? And that is energy that, that, that can easily bring you down. So what they're saying is, you know, have a more of a predator energy this week looking at things and saying like i claim what i want to claim because you have the jaguar right another wild cat big cat and what they're saying to you is you are unique you are a powerful being when you do what you came here to do but you have to focus on the positives this week not on the negatives okie dokie that was that and um, i hear someone at the door okay false alarm <laughs> That was um, Capricorn. Um, and now we're going to the last two star signs that we have uh, left for this week. We're looking at the week of April the 12th to the 18th. And this week starts with a full moon. Therefore, put your manifesting head on right, and manifest what you feel will... It's the wrong word. Complete you a little more. The idea is that you are really complete, right? And yet what I'm getting for all of us is um, when it comes to manifesting, especially here as we're looking into the next star sign, which is Aquarius, um, it feels that you're looking for some sort of um, peace and quiet is the wrong word, but, but, but knowing that nothing can happen that spoils things. And all the guides are saying is, you know, just to begin with, it won't. You're going to be fine. Because your message here is, is a win-win outcome. A win-win outcome is forecast. So for Aquarians, it's quite simple. You may have to um, wait a little bit before you feel at ease again. Because it feels like there's a bit of upheaval here. A bit of change coming that might be um, bigger <laughs> than your normal um, change. And all they're saying to you is, you will be fine. It was the right decision to look into something else. If you are at that crossroad where you're thinking about looking into something else, and they're really talking about it as if it's a thing of the past, um, now is the time to reflect and see, am I really where I want to be? and make changes. Really, really important. But energetically, for Aquarians, a win-win situation is forecast, which means there isn't all that much that can go wrong. You just have to allow it, and you have to allow to follow that advice and go through with what your heart tells you to do in the first place. Right? That was that. Going to the very last star sign of the week, which is um, Pisces, my star sign. <laughs> Let's have a look. For us Pisceans, what the guides want us to do is to not get 
bogged down by situations that feel a bit off, that feel a bit difficult, like I don't quite know where this is going, <laughs> because there is a bigger picture. Um, Pisceans, um, I'm a Piscean myself, you're going through um, letting go of stuff still. That's what I'm sort of getting. You're still in the transformation stage. There's still stuff that sort of has affected you or us. And um, and it's still coming off. It's still, you know, moving forward is not um, always the easiest. But what the guides are saying is expect powerful change. Right? Expect powerful change. What that means for us Pisceans is really to realize, okay, um, I might still have low energy days, uh, days where I don't quite feel the love, I don't quite feel um, so great, and um, and yet, you know, things can only get better, and will only get better. And I'm, I'm hearing this song, Things Can Only Get Better, by D. Ream. <laughs> right? um, I don't know, maybe that's my mind and not my guides, I have no idea. But anyway, that song I heard just now. So what they're saying to us Pisceans is, change for the better is already coming your way, our way. Embrace it and try not to go back into worrying so much about what to do with the new situation you're in or the, the transform transformative stage you're in, right? Because when, when, when powerful changes are coming, the universe is, is, is really attempting to solve things for you, right? Not a bad thing at all. Anyway, that was all we got time for. We are looking or we're looking at the week of April the 12th to the 18th, 2021. Thank you all for watching. As usual, I can only ask you to please subscribe um, and share the video widely. And if you like, there's also a Facebook page. Um, Facebook.com and energy and star sign readings. Um, maybe you want to uh, like that page too, so you're the first to know when the new video is being uploaded. Okie dokie, see you soon, bye bye!